What is up here? This is Simonite Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Catherine. In the last episode, we started the third night, the torture chamber, and we're told that, well, after we had talked to everybody on this landing, that, well, there might be something big coming up soon. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that, and obviously Vincent is still in quite the predicament trying to balance this girl he met the other night with his girlfriend of, of quite some time, Catherine. So without further ado, let's hop on into the confessional. Hey. I know. Sit down. <laughs> this mysterious voice is like so fed up with Vincent, like, I know, sit down. <laughs> like, you know the drill, Vincent. This isn't your first rodeo around here. Oh, man. I can't believe you didn't fall to the spike traps. That was fun to watch. I suppose you're different from the other sheep who stop here and wait for morning. Afraid. Waiting for destiny to save them. I can put this off. It'll only make me suffer longer. This is the fourth question. If you were to cheat on someone, who is more likely to be at fault? Whoa. Wow, so that's that's an aggressive question. In a, in a situation one? where somebody cheats, I really think it could be either person's fault, though in reality it's a mix of both, right? It's really just where you fall on that scale, meaning somebody's circumstances of the relationship could be incredibly horrible for that particular person, and as a result, they may cheat. In that sense, it's not like that person is completely absolved of responsibility, but Which one? the partner who was cheated on um, may have a larger role than in other situations. In my personal situation, in my relationship, if I were to cheat, it would absolutely be my fault because my scenario, my circumstances would give me no inclination or any rationale or justification to do so. So it would absolutely be my fault. So that's how you think. I'll take that as your honest. Not to mention just taking responsibility hey, for your own actions. All the other guys in here have the same person drop them in here. This is not the time to be worrying about the other sheep. Not if you want to survive. Listen, I can hear the voice of the one trying to take your life tonight. Again? I love the voice acting. Really, each voice actor has such a so does such a great job of conveying sort of like an eerie tone at times or a maniacal tone or, or whatever it may be. Let's see what other people said. Okay, so overwhelmingly it'd be my fault, which is which is good, <laughs> I think. All right. So here we are at the final level of the third night. Very excited. I should also say, I know I said that this is my one of my favorite games of all time area for tonight but um use the terrain to your advantage and avoid attacks i'll do my best narrator thank you but there's also a lot of there's a lot to say about why this game means a lot to me actually so i'll talk about that later on in the game come on man what is it this time <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's like, what the heck did I take before I fell asleep? Look at that thing. The Immoral Beast. It's the killer. Do not die. Yeah, so this is an interesting one, to say the least. We gotta love the creativity, right? I'm trying to remember exactly what the, uh... Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, it's sort of like a, a falling attack. And I should not have done that. Um, what I can do is just spider over this way, and I think we'll be okay. I already activated that, so we're in the clear. I should also remind myself that I do have a bell that I can act with. And my combo is still active. No! I tried to turn back to the left. I don't know if you guys saw that, but um, obviously I failed. <laughs> but anyways, as Vincent said, now is not the time to be dead. By the way, this beginning section is relatively straightforward, right? We always just need to essentially pull out one block in order to make a platform that we can work with. So they're going for the attack. Oh, what? I got hit by it. That's not good. So you'll notice that I'm obviously struggling at the moment, and that's because I'm... What? Okay, now I'm back to normal, I guess. <laughs> My controls were reversed while I was hit by that thing. While well, I was infatuated, per se. So we've got another set of attacks going on. I think we're in the clear. Yes, we survived, luckily. 
So we'll come on over here. We can get this checkpoint, which is nice. We've got plenty of gold to get here. I think I can spider over onto this. Did I get hit? Okay, I did not get hit. Lovely. We'll pick this up. And then, while well, we have a moment... Oh, this is actually kind of tough. How do I want to do this? I can go up here to keep my combo. Why am I having such a difficult time with figuring this out? I really should... I think I just need to make one of these drop, right? And that is obnoxiously close. Why was I having such a tough time with that segment? Oh, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. I think if I just push out the blocks from underneath those blocks with the coins, I'll be able to make those blocks fall, and then I'll be okay. Either way, again, I might just take a second to pause once I'm there. Alright, we're in the clear. And this way, we should actually, we should be a little bit further ahead than we were last time. So we might have a little bit more leeway. Did I get hit? I did get hit. Darn it. Okay, so we're gonna... No, wrong way, Vincent. Uh, no, wrong way again. This is not good. This is not good. Um, okay. No, wait, now I'm back to normal. Okay. Just gotta stay on track, I guess. Okay, so we've made it to the checkpoint. And what we can do is we can pull one of these out. But you'll notice that the next row is a bit different in that it, um... The spacing of the different things is, well, different. So I think if I push this, that's what I'm going to want to do, really. So we push that out. What's going to happen? We can do that. And then we can make a stairwell, and we are cooking. Okay, we can make another, essentially, a stairwell with this. And, oh, what? Oh, man. I couldn't see that row well, and I thought I'd be able to run to the right. I thought I'd have space, but... But I didn't have space, and so I ended up just running into a wall and st getting stuck on a trap platform, unfortunately. Either way, though, I think we're making good progress, and we're figuring things out as they progress, so... That's... You know, sometimes that's all you can really ask for. Alright, I think we are in the clear. So we'll head on up. I wonder, I don't actually understand very well the... Oh, I got hit. Darn it. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna see if I can do this. Okay. Come on. Alright, and we're back to normal. I think overall that went surprisingly well. Alright. Oh, did I get hit? I got hit. Man down. What? No, 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 no. Darn it. Oh, come on. That is giving me a lot more trouble than I remember actually having with this particular stage. Again, I am rushing. And if I weren't trying to get a perfect combo, I could afford to wait a little bit more because... You'll notice we're buying ourselves quite a bit of time with how far we are from the Immoral Beast. I think, um, let's see here. I'm gonna hide under here for now. Just play it safe. And going forward, I should probably look for opportunities to hide like that as well. Because I think we'll have another such opportunity in just a moment. Oh, interesting. She didn't do the attack. Alright, we'll, we'll hide under one of these. Awesome. Okay, we can push that out of the way. And then we can use that to extend our combo a little bit. We push that out. And now what do we want to do? Oh man, I don't have any cover. I think I'm okay. Yeah, because I moved out of the way in time. Good, good, good. Alright, we can push that in. We can push that in. And this Immoral Beast is certainly getting closer. I can push that out. And I can push this out. And that'll make a nice stairwell up this way. I don't have the flexibility I did last time, so we can come over onto this side and make it work. How do I want to handle this, though? How do I want to handle this segment? This looks pretty tough. I think what I'm going to do is push that out. Did I get hit? Oh no, I got hit. 
I got hit. We can go up here to extend our combo for a moment, and then I think... Oh, wait, no, 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 wrong way, wrong way. Come on, no, 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 get up, Vincent. <laughs> Come on, man, you're killing me. Okay, we can do that. Activate the traps so that we don't get killed. We can pull this out. Oh, I'm gonna run out of space. I'm gonna run out of space, so we're gonna start pushing stuff. We're gonna undo, and undo a few times. So that we're back over here. What do I need to do here? Can I push this out, maybe? Uh, we're about to get attacked as well. That's not good. I think I narrowly avoided that. But I don't think I'm in much better of a situation. Just look at that. And there goes our combo. <laughs> so we just got bodied. So what I should have done is take a look above that sort of... I don't know. Actually, let me check real quick. Yeah, so you can see our combo switches. So we're going to restart the area. Or our combo goes back to one step anyways. So I am going to keep doing this. But yeah, I should have taken a better look at what was above the little cross alignment of blocks there, because the peak of that block I thought I could use in order to actually get up to the next level, but I couldn't because, well, that peak of the cross blocks was also the peak of the floor above that. So that made it a little bit more difficult. We can activate those so we don't get caught up in that trap. And now we can head up here, and we should be in the clear. That's safe, so I can push that out. Push that out. Again, we can use this to extend our combo. And I think we'll be alright. Yeah, I can use... I should just focus on the center to make the stairwell this time around. That way we're not going to cut off a whole bunch of the, uh, the sides. So I can stand in the center here for a moment while we wait for that to go. Activate that. Activate that one. And then I guess we can climb up this way. I don't like having to use the, the trap blocks, but... Alright, let's, let's think for a moment. How do I want to go about doing this? Let's let's do some suspension and see what we can do with that. I think this might be our way to go. Awesome. So I want to do this to get over here briefly. We can also chill for a second, but really only for a hot second. I also just realized I don't even think that was the part where we got stuck last time. Because this is where I got stuck last time. Except this time, I actually have a block in the center to work with. Which is awesome. So we can do that. And we can push that over, activate that so we don't get killed. And now I think we can actually make a little stairwell? We gotta push this out of the way, though. Oh, the stairwell's already kind of made for us. Wow, so the game's lagging a little bit. But it's not the end of the world. We can take shelter there, we can push this out, that'll fall, and that'll open up a pathway up here. We can do that to get those coins, and then here, and we are in the clear! I made it! And we got that perfect chain, too. So a couple hiccups, but but I think we're doing well. Opening the door is crossing the finish line. You're a butt man, Vincent. Because <laughs> you're getting plenty of it right now. <laughs> you tell him, Vincent. Alright. And so again, um, very excited. I, I do like that I'm recording this in 60 FPS. It's a little bit more taxing on my computer, so you can see occasionally there are some moments where it slows down during the puzzle segments, but for 99% of the gameplay, especially the cutscenes and such, I think it's great. Yeah, go us for, for that gold prize. But I hope you guys don't mind those occasional slowdowns. They're not, they're not a huge deal on my end. I hope they're not on yours as well. And I think it adds so much to the rest of the game when it isn't slowing down that it's worth it. But anyways, we survived the third night. What are we going to find Vincent in? What predicament are we going to find Vincent in this time? Catherine? Huh? Catherine?
Catherine? Uh oh. What's she doing here? I thought I came home alone. Oh shit. Uh, sorry. Did did I say something? Catherine. I did. Uh, <laughs> well. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> but it's a bit embarrassing. Hmm? It is. You haven't called me by my name before, <laughs> have you? <laughs> Your name? Catherine? <laughs> Vincent's like, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> what is it, Vincent? <laughs> uh, nothing. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> hey, are you angry with me? Sorry for coming by out of the blue. Wait, so she just crashed here? Well, I'm more surprised than angry. I just... I thought that you'd want to see me, Vincent. I... <laughs> Whoa, hey, hey. <laughs> I couldn't keep myself away from you. <laughs> Last night was amazing. It was the first time I've ever done... something like that. What? <laughs> Vincent's like, oh crap. What did I do? You're gonna make me say it? <laughs> You're so oh, 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 wait, okay, time out, time out. <laughs> You've got ten seconds. Okay, look, why me? Hmm? <laughs> because I like you. What about you, Vincent? What do you think about me? I, uh... Insert reverse Uno meme I card. I think you really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what else? What else? Am I just cute? How do I put this? I'm kind of jealous of you. You seem to live however you want. <laughs> what do you mean? That's normal, isn't it? Vincent, you can live however you want, too. Just so long as you never think. Of cheating on me. <laughs> cheating? <laughs> uh, Vincent's like, I would never do that. Listen, Catherine, there's something I gotta tell you. Oh, fuck. Yikes, Vincent. Vincent's in deep, guys. <laughs> it's quite the predicament. The irony, you know, her name is Catherine as well. Obviously in English they have Catherine with a C and now Catherine, or Catherine with a K and now Catherine with a C. In Japanese they would be spelled the, the same way. Come on. Yes. <laughs> like so you derpy with the sunglasses. <laughs> yes. Quit joking around and listen. This is really important. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Catherine wanted to talk to us. This month. I'm running really late. Huh? I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> That's smart. Say something. <laughs> Sorry, uh... You look overjoyed, Vincent. <laughs> so, what are you thinking? Wedding. I mean, I, I have to take responsibility, right? Uh, well, uh, Come on, say something. Uh, uh, of course, I'm. I'm happy, but. But. This is great. <laughs> so you're happy. That's good to hear. <laughs> to be honest, I was a little worried. It's so hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Oh, don't worry about me. I mean, yeah, it's surprising, but it's not like you're sure of anything yet, right? Well, yeah. Uh. Huh? Go ahead. Answer. Vincent's like, don't worry about me. I got everything under control. Hello? Oh, hello. It's me. Uh, hello. Thank you for calling. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm in the area. You think we can meet 
Yeah, that's going to be a little difficult. Uh... Aww, you mean you can't? Where are you right now? Did she get my number? I gotta hang up or she'll suspect something. Hey, what's that? Hello? You're breaking up. <laughs> Classic, Vincent. <laughs> Classic. Oh. What was that? Huh. <clears throat> huh? Uh, just a call from work. Said something about a bug, but it got cut off. You know, the reception isn't very good in the office, but it didn't sound urgent, so... Not that. Your phone. Did you get another one? Huh? <laughs> it's oh, like... This? Yeah, the, the new model came out last week, so... It uh... hasn't been that long since you got your old one. You could have still used it. Didn't you buy a new computer a little while ago, too? Oof. You always throw your money away. Put on blast. I... You're going to have to watch yourself from now on. You know what I mean, right? Right. Sorry. Might have to save up for that baby. Well, it's okay since you've been working hard. After all, I might have to take maternity leave. Yeah, you might, huh? Oh, but I plan to go back to work after having the baby. We'll just have to split up the housework, okay? You can't throw your clothes everywhere anymore. Oh, okay. Paul? <laughs> it's a woman's what? job to get he married as soon as possible. Woman? That's it's a man's terrible. job to Whoa, stay safe as soon as possible. Cake. Really ticks me off. I'm gonna curse him to death. <laughs> Maybe his name will appear <laughs> in the Famous Waiter. words from someone. Waiter! So you need to make sure you're saving up. And all your late night drinking isn't cheap, you know. Vincent doesn't look so hot so right now. I'll be handling all our bank accounts. Oh, goody! You're still serving Um, I'll have the summer squash pasta. That voice. Listen to me! I'm, I'm listening. Mmm, my stomach hurts really bad. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay? Vincent, you've been acting weird today. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine, really. No, I don't mind being in the smoking section. Uh, hey, is this the smoking section? Huh? Well, yeah. You've got to quit smoking too. It's not good for the child. Bathroom, gotta go right now. <laughs> and Catherine, you got to stop going in the smoking section. So Vincent's in quite the predicament. Catherine is potentially pregnant. Catherine, with a C, is is on the hunt for Vincent, potentially running into him in the locale. And yeah, it's uh, it's not doing so hot. Believe she didn't catch you. Still. If she's pregnant, your life is fucked with a capital F. It's not fucked yet. I, I mean, nothing's set in stone. So then, what'd you tell her? <laughs> Who's the father? <laughs> I told her I was happy to hear about it. It doesn't look like you're happy at all. This is all getting too much for me, you know? So you're finally tying the knot. Congrats, Papa. Get ready to kiss your wife's ass for the rest of your natural life. No going out late, no liquor, no smoking, no gambling, and no relaxing on weekends because you've got to take care of the kids. Really? Dang, that sounds really tiring. Hey, you guys, quit filling his head with doom and gloom. Erica! <laughs> I love the way Toby you says know? that. Raising a nice, happy family is supposed to be a good thing, right? <laughs> a happy family. Never had one of those before. I can't see it. Yeah, well, you're not the only one. That's irrelevant. It's just because of the way you two grew up. So, Vincent, what's this weird dream you said you had? We'll listen to you tonight. Weird dream? Why are you asking now? I, mean, I really can't remember it anyway. You don't? I was being chased by something. Uh... I don't know, it was scary. Probably for the better you don't remember what you were being chased by. Sounds common to me. Hey, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, and you feel like you didn't get any sleep at all that night, right? Excuse me. Bob, what are you doing here? Did you people know... The reason that you're taught as a child 
To count sheep so you'll fall asleep is... Yeah, yeah, sheep rhymes with sleep or something. Ah, sorry. Hey, boss, another rum and cola, please? Hey, don't be so rough on the guy. One day we'll all be old farts like him. Not all of us. Anyway, you're having these weird dreams because you're cheating. Yeah, I get that. But... Besides, Catherine might be pregnant, right? <sighs> Don't need to remind me of that. It is in a man's basest instincts to cheat. Here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks for the unsolicited yeah, advice, boss. And walk away. <laughs> it's about what happens now. Well, have fun while you still can. Please. I think it's so funny, boss just comes by and he's like, here's this fun fact about sleeping. Did you know that we count sheep because... And everyone's just like, go away. And he comes back and he's like, just so you know, it's pretty instinctual for men to cheat. Vincent's just like, just shut up, man. Please. <laughs> and I love the awkward Toby going, the little hand clap. He's like, Erica, <laughs> when she walks up. It's so funny. Oh man, I, I love this game. <laughs> it's so funny. Alright, so we're gonna get up, we're gonna see who all around is at the bar. And we have, well, our, looks like our bar scenario is a little bit different than it was last time, so let's grab a seat and see who we have here. And he was extremely loose with his relationships with women. I heard his funeral got stopped because women were fighting each other. Oh, well, you can't talk about it like you're unrelated to it. Mm -hmm. This lovely couple is Daniel and Anna. Huh? Vince? Vincent Brooks? What? Do I know you? Oof, awkward. It's me, Daniel. We went to elementary school together. Oh, uh... What? You don't remember me? Body. Oh, so you're Vincent. You're different from what I imagined. Don't say that. You see, <laughs> Vincent, uh, I'm different from back then. I'm not the one tagging along. Now I'm the leader. I'm the heir to a successful business. A business heir, huh? Because of that. Wait, I heard your voice somewhere. Was it yesterday? Hmm, I think so. Come to think of it. Maybe I had some premonition of our meeting today. Anyway, I can't believe you don't remember me, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's so awkward. To be fair, I've been in Daniel's position before. I have... Overall, I remember people just like their face very well, so I recognize people a lot more frequently than other people remember me. I don't know if that's a me remembering other people exceptionally well or me being exceptionally forgetful, but either way, it is pretty awkward when it happens. Either way, it seems like Vincent is somebody that Daniel talked quite highly of, but is apparently not appearing to live up to said ideals, at least in the eyes of Anna, and unfortunately doesn't even remember... Speaking of yesterday, Daniel himself. You were having a nightmare. I had a strange dream, though I don't remember it well. Sounds How familiar. You sleep in your own bed tonight, or in hers. Oof. Anna. Yikes. You got mail. Daniel just got called out. What email did we get? Ah, Midnight Venus. Okay, congratulations. You've successfully completed stage three. The torture chamber will go to our awards. Yada yada yada. You've done it again. In recognition for earning three gold prizes above normal difficulty, your friends in the Golden Playhouse have another amazing present for you. You can now challenge the second stage of Babel. Men here. Or something. Men here. I'll be waiting for you. Alright. Good to know. Let's see here. We'll we'll chat with Justin. Which do you think are more pitiful? Men or women? Um we'll, we'll go with we'll go with men for now. This one? <laughs> A lot of people say that. When asked whether they'd like to return as a man or woman in the next life, the majority of people say they'd prefer to be a woman. Some scientists have even predicted that men will become extinct. It's the truth. It's the truth. Extinct? Apparently the Y chromosome is quite useless compared to the X chromosome. So it's possible. And what'll happen to the human race if men go extinct? <laughs> Maybe there'll be a system where women can fertilize each other and bear children. It's quite the speculation, Justin. just as hard to live their lives too. Isn't nature harsh? But on the whole, I think women have it hard. I agree. Being manipulated by stupid guys, being ground down by life. I did. It's something I shouldn't have. Yikes. And what are you talking about? It is the cross I must bear. <laughs> That's rather depressing. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt that men live life with more privilege, and I, I, think, I think Justin needed to hear that men are a bit more pitiful. 
but let's see what text message we have. Oh, it's from Catherine, with a K. Are you drinking? Are you still the stray sheep? Haven't you been there every night lately? I thought you had an upset stomach today. Why are you drinking again? Please take care of yourself. You're not just living for you anymore. <sighs> Sorry, or I'm not drinking, or I'll do what I feel like. Uh, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna apologize. But it's important to be with my friends too. Can I at least hang out with my friends? Uh, let's go. But it's important to be with my friends too. I think that's. I think that's asserting a priority of your own rather than something like this, can't I at least hang out with my friends, is more so painting the picture of her controlling him, which arguably she is to a certain extent, and justifiably so uh, to an extent, but stop assuming the worst about me, yikes. Why? What's going on? Is something wrong? Or we're, we're, we'll go with why? What's going on? Is something wrong? That, that gives a more caring, concerned message, I would say. Anything else to say, Justin? Perhaps we all deserve pity, regardless of our gender. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Ain't that the truth, Justin? Telling it like it's real. All right, so we got ourselves another message. Let's take a look. Is there anyone else? Oh, no, no, Lindsay, no, Martha. Maybe that's for the better. <laughs> Let's see what text message we got. This is from Catherine with a C. Hey, how are you doing? Are you still at work? Are you done yet? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I guess. Sorry, I'm still at work. Well, um, I'm done, I guess. I think it's a good way to, to be not incredibly excited and match the emotion that Catherine is conveying here without lying. That's what I'd probably do. What do you want? Or, I can't see you today, though. I'm busy. What do you want? Um, I feel like this, well, maybe... Neither of these is very nice, I'll, I'll be honest. What if we said, sorry, I'm still at work, or no, let's say, yeah, I'm done. What do you want? Or I can't see you today. Okay, so either of those works. I'm done, I guess. Hmm. We'll go with what do you want. Although I don't really like that either. Maybe I can't see you today, though. I'm busy. Maybe just be preemptive. I'll text you again later. Bye. <laughs> Good night, Catherine. I'll text you again later. I don't like that. Bye. I don't like bye, though, either. But good night, Catherine is so endearing, right? But, I don't know, it's kind of a nice way to draw the line and say, yeah, we're still not, we're not getting together tonight. Well, well let's go with that. Okay. Obviously, that was not in line with a lot of our other decisions. But I, I don't think I would want to be as outwardly mean to somebody who doesn't really have reason to, I guess, to feel bad about her pursuit of Vincent, right? Vincent hasn't made it clear that he's in a relationship. So... Anyways, let's chat with our friends. See if they have anything interesting to say. You know, Chief doesn't talk about his girlfriend, does he? He did say that he didn't plan to marry her, huh? He's so perfect at his job, I just kind of assumed that he was the same way in private. In school, he never dated girls that he wasn't fully committed to. All the girls said he was just too defensive. Ask him about it, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's not fair. That's a great setup to get a bodied in a conversation. Um, all right, Toby, what do you got to say? Taking applications from the general public for these space tours? Oh, fifty thousand. That's way too much. With my paycheck, I can't even afford a down payment. And boy, do I have a deal for you. I'd rather put all of my savings into lottery tickets than invest in one of your games. <laughs> Called out. Man, I cannot get enough of Erica's thighs. Toby is in for the long haul with with Erica. I heard the door. Oh, look. Huh? You're gonna bother a cop on his break? Well, that's not the most uh, inviting Don't statement. That incident. I'm not gonna be much help. But it's men around your age who are dying. So be really careful. You don't seem too interested. Yeah, no evidence has come up yet, and I'm on another case. Gotcha. I'm Morgan. If I find anything out about this incident, I'll tell you. So don't worry about the strange rumors. Well, I don't really care about the rumors. Well, appreciate you offering to help. I think there is something to be said about you know, this is my job, I'm gonna worry about my job, and there are other people dedicated to this other job that I'm gonna let do their job. 
Anyways, Catherine. Catherine's apologizing. I'm sorry. Sorry, maybe I was a little too harsh. I mean, I did overload you with stuff about maternity leave and money, but it's important, so be sure to keep in mind, okay? I know, or I'm sorry, too. Yeah, we're definitely gonna apologize, too. Anytime there's some sort of disagreement, um, it's important for both people to apologize for whatever contribution they had to the situation. It's never, or rather almost never, 100 zero responsibility, right? So even if you're 1% pos like responsible for something that contributed to whatever situation happened, you should recognize it or try to find what that 1% is and apologize for it. I just got kind of confused or you don't have to apologize. I just got kind of confused. No, we'll, we'll go. You don't have to apologize. Even though, honestly, I, I, I literally just said that I think she should have to apologize as both people involved should have to apologize. Anyways, I'll definitely think about it. Feel better, please. Or let's say... I feel like feel better please is somewhat dismissive of her specific request, so say, I'll definitely think about it. The thing is, I think that could be interpreted as like, I'll consider it, right? <laughs> Not a, I'll be sure to actively think about it all the time as you're requesting. But I think I think that's what they're going for here, so we'll stick with that. Bye or well, good night. We're gonna go with well, good night. All right. Okay. Now we're getting a call? From Catherine? <laughs> wow, we're getting, we're getting so many calls from Catherine. Hello? Hey, it's me. Oh, hi. Were you upset by what I said today? Not really. What? No, I wasn't. I'm sorry, it's just... I didn't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think I was being too harsh on you, too. And then I got twisted up over it and called you. <laughs> it's okay, really. It's good. Talk it out. <laughs> I love that, Catherine. Sometimes you're such a you're such a sweetheart. Just like I got all twisted up over, it, I felt bad, so I just had to call you. Okay, now that I've called you, good night. You look tired. Don't get too drunk, okay? Easier said than done for somebody like Vincent, right? Let's see what Johnny has to say. If you two hadn't met at the reunion, you wouldn't be going out right now. Life's all about timing. Huh. Not planning out your life ahead of time's a waste of effort. None of us have the future we thought we would when we were kids. Hmm. I mean, that is true, but there's definitely a lot of value in at least attempting to plan and guide your path in life, even though you're not trying to assure a particular endpoint. Hmm. How do we respond to this, though, right? If we're trying to be supportive friends. None of us have the future we thought we would when we were kids. Do I want to contradict, or do I want to go along with the somewhat pessimistic attitude? We'll go with that's true for now. Yeah, huh? Life is full of things we can't change. Huh? You gonna start preaching? Hey, I'm just a stray sheep in the field of life too, you know. Uh, now that's Vince. <laughs> Cheating twice? <laughs> He's really gone uh, astray. I never thought you'd be one to cheat in the first place. I can't believe it myself either. Interesting. I, I don't know if that was the right response per se, but I felt like it was better to kind of stick with the flow of the the mood than anything. Looks like it's gotten real for you, huh? You two have been together a while. It's about time. Congrats on having a kid. Let's do something to celebrate. It's not for sure yet. She said well, she wouldn't tell you unless she was really sure. You're gonna do the right thing, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. No, we'll say I know, but... I, I know. What are you upset over? Heck, I want to get married soon. You want to meet my parents and ask about how they got married? I go back home and drink some strawberry milk. <laughs> Come on, why you gotta go there? Did somebody just walk in? Or did somebody just walk... just leave? Oh, somebody did stop by. We got our friends Todd and Archie. You know what you gotta have? Be a real man. Lots of money, or who's asking? Todd? Lots of money, power, a harem. Given the themes of this game, we're gonna go with a harem. Actually. See, only half a man's worth is in his upward mobility. <laughs> he unleashes his full potential when he's surrounded by women. 
That's why a real man shares his love with as many as he can. Flowers of femininity blooming in the shining rays. It's quite the euphemism for cheating. I'm not after women. Then you're after me. Not a chance. <laughs> so again, you'll note that a lot of our decisions are partially or at least somewhat a reflection of our own thoughts, but also an attempt to get along with other people in the bar. And so far, they're a bit at odds. What is Midnight Venus, booze and you? All the different drinks you can have in the bar will get you equally drunk. Choose your favorite. Here's a secret. When you have alcohol in your system, you can move faster in your dreams. If you're going to be hanging out in a bar anyway, why not get drunk? Get your drunk on. So, interestingly enough, this will be something that I eventually probably show off in something like Catherine Fullbody, or maybe even a second playthrough. I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but there are some actually really cool facts they'll give you depending on what drink you have. Sometimes Vincent will reflect on his life, his memories, what he said during that day, and they'll give you some facts about whatever type of drink you have. Personally, though, I like to not drink. In, in life and in games, so that I have a bit more of a challenge during the puzzle section. So I'm going to avoid doing that for now. Man, my head hurts. That's because all you do is play Rapunzel. You should try it. I'm sure that princess is a hottie. She's a bunch of pixels. Seriously. What? Are you one of those guys? <laughs> really speaking to, to the, the player base, I right? Depends. <laughs> That's actually really funny. I can appreciate that the game stuck that line in there. Very fitting for the the audience of this game. <sighs> Lately, going home to an empty house really hurts, you know. Sorry to hear that, Orlando. You still drinking? No. Nope. I made up my mind. I'm a man. I'm making a decision. Today I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh... <laughs> You don't sound too confident there, Toby. Oh, sorry. I was just talking to Erica. What? Hey, is Toby really into Erica? No. Oh, kids drool over girls like that. Well, but... It's Erica. What are we gonna do if something happens between them? Well... Whatever. Everyone has issues these days. So this line in particular, that segment, is something that I will talk about a lot towards the end of the game because it's very charged and um, reflective of some attitudes that people have towards a character like Erica. Um, so if it's okay with you, want to go stargazing? I, I know a good place, one that most people don't know about. Really? Where? Vincent, get out of my face! <laughs> Did you hear, Vincent? Toby bought a car. Yeah, I got a good deal on it since it was last year's model. I mean, you know, it's still a brand new car. So it's <laughs> Toby's trying to be all impressive with his well, car. As long as the seats are in good shape. Ooh. I'll make sure everything's lubed up. <laughs> I'm, I'm the car. <laughs> Toby <laughs> killing it. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, but yeah, I, I do want to stress that not all views represented by characters in the game are indicative of those of the developers. Is there anywhere else you want to go? I'll, I'll take you anywhere. <laughs> He's so cute. That's pretty funny. All right, now I think there's really only the boss left to talk to, isn't there? Hey, boss. You ever lose your memory drinking? Oh, did you? Yeah, I have when I was young, especially when I was in my thirties. I started to blank out on amounts I used to be able to handle in my 20s. And then I'd wake up lying next to a complete stranger. <laughs> Sounds awfully familiar. Ah, so it has happened. I'm in a complete stranger's house. That hasn't happened to me. <laughs> I'm at the police station, stark naked, right? No. <laughs> the nakedness of woman is the work of God. To misappropriate the musings of a I love these lines. To misappropriate the musings. God's work of art. It's only natural that your faculties are preoccupied. Well, just don't worry about it. Uh, guess I won't. <laughs> uh, I think I'll go home for today. My head hurts. I think it's so funny when Vince is just like, oh man, you ever like black out when you drink? And he's like, 
Yup, yup, had that happen. Wake up next to a complete stranger. Yup, wake up in somebody else's house. You know, naked in the police station, am I right? If it's just like, no, I think that's, I think that's just you, man. <laughs> in front of God's work of art, memories are blown away. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like, head home. excuse me. Doing a great job at the not worrying part. Oh, shit. It's this late already? If I don't go home, I'll make Catherine worry again. Hey. Hey, Vincent. We're all heading home. How about you? Oh, no, no, no. The night is young. I'm sticking around a little more. I need some time to think. Nice music <sighs> shift. <laughs> Still drinking? <laughs> Quit trying to delude yourself and come. Did, did I just hear something? Oh, yeah, you did. Hey, it's Vincent. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, no. <laughs> hmm? Vincent just got wrangled in. However, we're going to check out the news. This is a late breaking update in the recent spate of mysterious weakening deaths. Another young male victim has been discovered. Ronald Clay, age 32, was found dead today. He's the same age as me. <sighs> that concludes our coverage on this story. After a commercial break, we'll bring you the weather, plus any additional updates to our top story. It's really captivating all the news. So there is, there's our friend Catherine down there. But first, we gotta check out the bathroom. We gotta get our game together before we hang out with Catherine. Side. This one. Oh man. You get it, right? <laughs> the stage tonight is the Inquisition. Hurry up. You'll be judged there. Am I seeing things? Oh yeah, you are. And they're a pretty interesting sight. Tonight's Well, yeah, tonight's sight is something. Don't call me that. It's embarrassing. What do you want to do today? Uh Actually, I... If you're tired, why don't you ditch work? If you work hard when you're tired, you'll just make more mistakes. That's why you should relax today. Your body knows what it needs. You should listen to it. <laughs> if only my boss also listened to what my body needs, right? Uh, that's true, or that's not what grown-ups do. Oh man. The, the social appeaser though not very strong in me personally, is definitely shouting, I should say, that's true. But the the mature adult in me is saying, that's not what grown-ups do. Uh, an actual me would respond with something like, if only that were how it works. <laughs> um, we're gonna go with that's not what grown-ups do. That's... You're just being chained down. I know that you used to think that you didn't want to be a boring grown-up. What? <laughs> Ooh, called out. You get nervous so easily. But that's what I love about you, Vincent. What? <laughs> oh, am I embarrassing you? So, what do you want to talk about? I'm all ears. So, let's go? Please? Well, uh, I can't go. I, I have something to do, actually. I have something to do. You don't have to say it twice. Oof. So that was obviously pretty off-putting. Going home? Um, we're not gonna go home it's just like yet. That, but... <laughs> I like that you're nice like that. She just likes everything about him. His nervousness, his awkwardness, how how nice he is. Uh, even though he's so awkward. But um, what I want to do actually first is save because we haven't done that yet. And oh my goodness, it's already. All right, well. So we'll finally leave the stray sheep and start the fourth night in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, it was a very cool block level where we fought with the uh, the immoral beast. And then had another predicament Vincent found himself in with Catherine with a C. And we got to learn quite a bit about uh, some of our more familiar patrons in addition to a new patron, the cop, Morgan. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. are looking forward to the next. And... Yeah, I certainly am, so <laughs> I hope to see you guys there. But until the next episode, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.